This is all we can do. Weird stuff. Legs are numb. Yeah. Headache. Yeah. And your knees. My knees, I've had propped up on this pillow. My joints hurt so bad. Oh, it's actually not too bad at this moment, I'll say. Not what? quite the best I felt all day. Okay. I'm thinking about talking about this. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll begin. We are sad to announce there's been a tragedy that struck the two of us. Yes. On Rum Tot. Yes. And it's a bit of a difficult story. However, it's something that I denied for over a week. Finally did some real research this morning and discovered that it was true. And that my denial was both due to stubbornness and, um, and me not willing to or wanting to waste food. As it turns out, a king mackerel the size of the fish that we boated last week, uh, also known as a kingfish, is can be can be a carrier of a toxin that leads to some pretty ugly side effects. In fact, uh, we're learning that many fish can. Ciguatera fish poisoning is a very common seafood illness for Bahamas travelers as we are quickly learning. And uh, happens in Bahamas throughout the Caribbean. Um, it's caused by eating fish contaminated with ciguatoxins, which are produced by small marine organisms living on or near coral reefs. It works its way through the fish food chain when herbivores fish feed on these organisms. The ciguatoxins bioaccumulate and are then passed on to the larger predatory fish, making eating uh, size usually over six pounds, a little less safe, unsafe. I guess it started um, about a week ago when we landed a big king mackerel and, and started eating the fish. And over the past several days, both of us have just felt a constant fatigue, um, achy legs, uh, like it feels like we've just climbed a mountain when we just walked uh, a block up the street like mm -hmm. muscle pain uh like i've never experienced um we've also had other strange symptoms uh sore joints here in the shoulders elbows i uh, feel like you always need to stretch or or have tightness overnight uh, just as in addition to all the other symptoms light muscle spasms well, all these things combined make make sleep extremely difficult we sleep an hour or two then wake up maybe another hour maybe three hours but i don't think we've gotten a full night's comfortable rest in easily several days four to five days there's a strange tingling feeling on gums and tongue uh especially yeah. when when we drink fluids like going over the tongue it almost feels rough or metallic uh, oh strange feeling of my teeth especially almost like they're floating or they're like uh from what i read they say it feels like your teeth are falling out i don't think that mine are falling out or that feeling but they're a really weird and interesting floating te teeth which feeling. i have not had that symptom which is interesting but i have had the tingly face hand lips Anyway. Yeah, it's a lot of strange side effects from, from this toxin, this neurotoxin. So uh, in addition to that, um, a lingering long light headache, uh, just kind of always there, back section of the head and, and just, yeah, just kind of have a constant mild headache. Mm -hmm. Amy's feet have been constantly itchy mm -hmm. uh, to the point where she's been... Uh, kept awake at night yes uh, yeah yeah just terrible itchy feeling i thought at first i had just a case of athlete's foot but uh no I so don't. you're not even an athlete <laughs> that's true it's not uh i've also experienced some itchiness just on hands uh, and skin um and your knees also yes. which sometimes bother her a little bit yeah. have been 
excessively and extremely painful yeah. uh, in the knee joint. Yeah. And so, again, some, some very strange and unique side effects. So saber tear is common in tropical and subtropical areas, um, particularly here here in the Caribbean Sea, um, also in the Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean. Any reef fish can cause saber tear poisoning. Um, species such as our king mackerel, which was so cool to catch, and barracuda, which we also caught, and uh, ate. <laughs> that was a smaller barracuda. And many others, such as large grouper, some species of red snapper, moray eel, amberjack, parrotfish, hogfish, kingfish, uh, coral trout, to name a few, are most commonly affected. Uh, ciguatoxins are concentrated in fish liver, intestines, heads, and roe. And we did eat some of the head of this mackerel. Uh, I don't know if it was just the head, how that works, if just the head contains the toxins or the body, I don't know. Uh, the toxins do not affect the taste of the fish, so you can't smell it, you can't taste it, you don't know it's there, uh, you can't cook it, you can't cook it out, you can't smoke it out, you can't freeze it out, it's just uh, there. Yeah. It's uh, undetectable. It's, it's undetectable. It's, it's in the flesh of the fish and there's nothing you can do about it to, yeah. to know it's there or not know it's there. Yeah. And not all fish of a given species or a given area are toxic. We could catch another mackerel. I'll be right here today and it might be fine. Totally fine. Yeah. yeah. There's no way to tell. So. Yeah. So another thing that had us slightly concerned or, or is the fact that people have reported these symptoms uh, to last months or years or, or reoccur after the fact. We're hoping that from what we've read, it's a, a short process to get the toxins out and may only be... Um, six or seven days, uh, two or three more days. Uh, we've eaten so much of this fish, though, over the course of the last week. I mean, we that's, ate it that's every the day. same. We ate it ev almost every meal, included it. We included it in nearly every meal for the last consecutive seven and a half days. Mm -hmm. So knowing that there are certain triggers that could cause this to reoccur, from what we read, months or even years afterwards. I hope that's not the case because yeah. some of the triggers are things that we absolutely love, like chocolate, mm -hmm. um, any other seafood, yeah. uh, alcohol, yeah. tobacco, yeah. Uh, nuts. nuts and nut oil, ca caffeine, yeah. coffee. Uh, things we have almost every day on that list. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And, yeah. And, 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 and the list goes on. There are, there are certainly other things too. That could trigger trigger this to return. So fortunately, uh, death has only carried, occurred in very rare cases. Um, we're we're okay. We're fine. Uh, it's noted, as Chris said, that symptoms can occur for months or years and even reoccur. And um, we both have been reading that uh, the second bout is much worse. So hopefully, we don't have to deal with that. Um, most people like Chris was saying, can recover in days or weeks, and we hope that we will be in the days recovery uh, rather than the weeks. Um, today is probably the worst day we felt by far, definitely the worst, and hopefully we're uh, drinking enough water that we're going to flush it out. Better. I feel better than I did earlier this morning. We're at least hydrating. Yes, that's true too, yeah. There's no antidote for ciguatera, so um, you can go to a doctor and they can give you painkillers and help reduce your symptoms, but that's about all that can be done for you. Yeah, so as of this morning, um, after extensive research, we're taking this as serious as we possibly can, knowing that it's kind of a strange and mysterious and unknown uh, toxic disease or illness. Um, it's really... It's really kicked our butts over the last couple of days. And um, yeah, I think again, I was just stubborn. And even though in the back of my mind days ago, I, I probably can say I knew it was the fish. I would agree. I feel like I knew a couple of days ago as well, but uh, I guess uh, I don't have a 
explanation for neither one of us just came out and said it to each other but like, yeah i feel well, like i knew it i don't know i think I we've, know. we've just gotten off of a busy week or yeah here. i mean maybe it was you know there, there are a lot of excuses we can make but i think yeah. a lot of signs did point to the fish but it yeah. was a beautiful fish and yeah. we had tons of free food and again i was like how do you take a gorgeous fish like that with over 15 or or 18 pounds of meat and yeah. just discard it and yeah which is what we did today everything came out of the fridge and went back to the water this yeah. morning yeah we can't eat anymore it's, it's taken too big of a tax on the body so yeah we disposed of it we even made fish stock dumped that out yeah uh, it's all gone yeah all gone out of our lives we even now. made rice with the fish stock oh yeah nice a couple of times everything. i did it twice <laughs> yeah we I love mean, fish we love fishing we love to catch fish we love to eat fish helps our budget eat food free okay. food out of the water like the ocean provides and uh, well, that's one of the things that yeah. we talked about as part of this adventure was going to be a big part of it was to, yes. as we go along catch and eat fish and now that we're in this area and learning of, of this uh, ciguatera toxin amongst many many reef fish uh and we actually got it it's become a major concern because it hits many it, the list was only listed about 12 or 15 fish but then continue to go on to say could possibly affect up to 400 fish yeah species like including some fish um that are normally not known for carrying ciguatera like now mahi mahi is a possibility and that's like the prized fish wahoo so i like moving forward i'm not sure we have to be very, very careful before we eat anything. I mean, the general rule of thumb says if the fish is five pounds or less, a yeah. larger target species like a barracuda or a mackerel, five pounds or less should be considered safe because they haven't consumed as many small fish and the small fish who have eaten the bacteria, so on and so forth up the food chain. They haven't taken enough in as the larger predator fish. So under five pounds for some, but it even went so far as to say sometimes fish two or three pounds can have it. So it, it's a real mystery to know yeah. how to get around this or to avoid it in the future. And uh, yeah. no, there's really no way yeah. to, to, to test a fish either. You can't just pull it out of the water and say, oh, yeah, that one has it. it, it there's no way to do it. So As Chris and I have said this morning a couple times to each other, this is not going to deter us from fishing and eating fish that we catch, but we will make sure that we're doing probably a little bit more research. And this was yeah. well, it's been, a learning experience for sure. Yeah, it's been advised to check with locals and see if there are yeah. certain areas of the reef, because again, it's one of those things where it could be one spot and then it could disappear from that spot. It could be totally clean fish in one area and then something happens and maybe the water warms up and yeah. this algae occurs somewhere where it's never been before. It is so mysterious. It moves from place to place. It goes, some fish have it, some don't. Um, so it's going to be a real difficult decision to decide what fish, but, um, again, like Amy was saying, I think that we will target species that we know sizes that are manage manageable sizes and, and I mean, yeah. there's only a certain point of it where sometimes you just roll the dice, but we see people catching and eating fish around here all the time. So yep. um, the, the, the major thing to avoid is probably the larger predator fish. Yeah. Uh, and that's a good place to start. But um, I'd say if you're going to be fishing or spear fishing um, in, in these areas and um, do yourself a favor and get accustomed to do your homework, do, do a little reading up on. Um, yeah ciguatera because yeah. i knew about it i'd read enough i thought i'd read enough going into this and i clearly had um i i thought i was i thought i knew and i i really didn't it wasn't until i got it that i really delved in and and did a lot more research and reading so um do yourself a favor and yeah check it out yeah <laughs> don't eat big fish <laughs> We're going to go back to resting. It's movie day uh, here on Rum Tot. Yeah. See you guys next time.